I'm Mike Bowers. I'm talking pitches this morning with cartoonist for the Herald Sun in Melbourne, the one and only Mark Knight. Welcome back to the program. G'day, Michael. Mark, it's ICAC, UCAC, we all CAC for ICAC. <laughs> the Independent Commission Against Corruption takes a bipartisan turn and proves that it's an equal opportunity destroyer of parties. This ICAC has brought down so many people and now we have Arthur Sinodinos. He certainly uh, um, looked under pressure this week uh, in, in the, the Senate chamber and, and, you know, a position which I never thought I'd see him in, actually. Yeah, well, I guess he's done the right thing and stepped aside, but uh, it's had a field day for ph photographers and cartoonists. Well, these pictures are actually illegal in the Senate. The Senate still has these arcane rules that you have to uh, photograph the person only when they're on their feet with the call, so this could earn the photographers a, a banning. I think the Senate needs to get into the 21st century with its rules. Or at least the 18th century. The cartoonists have had a field day with it. Uh, John Cadelka, how will I know if it's time to quit? <laughs> When everyone sprints for the door when you try to vote. <laughs> that's, that's, that's right. He'll be on the cross benches. He'll be on the cross benches, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you've drawn uh, the Obed as the octopus with its tentacles everywhere, which is pretty true. It seems to be, he seems to be drawing in a lot of people. I pictured um, Eddie Obed with his many tentacles yeah. reaching out and uh, poor old Arthur is... is um, in its clutches. <laughs> Bill, I think, has summed it up beautifully too with, um, obviously, Tony Abbott, I've come to visit my mate Arthur. Mr Sinodinus, you'll find him on level three. Level three is for the good of the party ward. <laughs> um, level two is PM has full confidence ward and level one is done nothing wrong ward. Um, yes. I think I think Fiona Nash has been in levels one and two in the past oh. year and hasn't progressed to level three. I think this hospital is on standby now. <laughs> ah. The ward. The parliamentary ambulance is just... It's going past. <laughs> Mark, um, uh, Kathy Wilcox, as she always does, um, just m manages to simply but beautifully sum it up, bitingly but also very funny. Oh, look, Kathy uh, is the current uh, Walkley Award winner and this just shows her form. Yeah. Uh, fantastic cartoon. You know, I love it when you take a famous quote from somewhere. I never inhaled. So Bill yeah, Clinton. I never inhaled the Bill Clinton thing and you paste it into a political cartoon and uh, bang, there yep. it is, works beautifully. Uh, the government launched uh, Repeal Day this week as uh, Tony Abbott promised that cutting the red tape would put us back in the black. I think disturbing cartoon of the week would mm. have to go to David mm. Rowe for his depiction of um, mm. probably this one here of the Prime Minister in a mankini. Mankini. Yeah. Well, all I say is thank God for red tape. Uh, if we didn't have red tape, oh, yeah, this would be yeah, well, not recommended for children, this no, no. cartoon. Red tape, uh, the end of season sale 2014 with scissors not included, thank God. I think this one's what you call a tankini. This would probably be the burkini. I'm not quite sure what this is. This is be the yeah. Oh, that's no. yeah. I don't know. This is something from the Hellfire Club. <laughs> from red tape to pink bats, uh, we seem to have a big colour week as the um, Royal Commission into Home Insulation kicked off, and we saw a little uh, insight into something we already knew that um, Kevin Rudd liked things done yesterday. You have two days to cost the insulation scheme without consulting industry, okay? As as, as they come out of mm. the office with their hands tied and blindfolded. Uh, Do you think it's a trick question? No, yeah. he was serious. Yeah. Paul Zanetti has picked up on the Royal Commission and I think he's perfectly encapsulated how Peter Garrett might be feeling. Uh, this is just a political stitch up, Pete. We can get through this without affecting our future brilliant careers if we just stick together. Who's we for us? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I, yes. Uh, it would be interesting to see what Garrett does do uh, yeah. when he testifies. Yeah, because he was kind of left uh, holding that uh, particular... Um, yeah. um, bag. Well, sandwich, I was going to say, with very little bread in it, really. <laughs> Mate, it's yeah. been um, a great pleasure uh, talking to you, and uh, I'll, I'll let you do the, uh, the honours. Thanks, mate. And now, back to you, Barry.